guys, this is Nina Balasa. This is Christine Mekazido. We're discussing the steps and how to disassemble and assemble your personal computer. Computer. First step is to unplug. The first thing to do is to unplug every cable that is plugged into your computer. That, is, that includes the cable such as power, USB, mouse, keyboard, internet, ethernet, modem, cable TV, and etc. Just unplug all the cables for Step 2. Opening the outer shell case. First, unscrew the screws of the back of the computer. On most computer cases, there will be large knobs that you can unscrew by hand or by screwdriver on the back right side of the computer. The left side has small screws because on that side you can't access much on the inside. Removing the system fan. First, unplug the fan from the motherboard. You can find the plug by following the wire from the fan. Next, how to unscrew the fan from the outside. You should now be able to lift the fan out of the PC. Four, removing the CPU fan. The CPU fan is located at the right top of the CPU heat sink, which is large piece of the metal with fins at the top. To remove, to remove the fan from the heat sink, remove the screws securing it in place. Five, power supply. The first thing to do is unplug every wire coming from the power supply. You must disconnect the motherboard, CD or DVD drive power, internal hard drive power, and portal hardware to swap power. Once everything is unplugged, unscrew the four screws holding the power supply in place in the back of the computer. Six CD DVD drives. First, unplug the ribbon from the back of the drive. Once that is completed, hold the top securing the drive in place. The push it, then push it out from the inside. Step 7, the hard drive. In our case, we don't have a hard drive, so let's do the next step. The next step is the memory or the ROM. To remove the ROM, push down the both of the tabs holding the ROM in place, which are located at both ends of the ROM. Step 2. Prepare the motherboard. Step 3. Install the CPU. In our case, we already installed the CPU. So here's the CPU. It's Intel. 4. Install the CPU heatsink. Step 4. Install the memory RAM. In order to install the memory modules, 
insert them into the proper socket and push down firmly but evenly until the clips on both sides of the, po of the socket pop into place. If your motherboard supports dual channel memory, consult the user manual to determine which pairs of RAM sockets you should use. The motherboard and CPU are the brain and nerve center of your PC. So selecting these components is the most important decision you'll make. Step 6. Place the motherboard into the case. Step 7. Connect the power supply. Connect the spaghetti wires. Step 8. Install graphics or video cards. Step 9. Install internal drives.